That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. I say again, all units, we have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Received. Let's keep this by the book. Over. Control, we have a crime scene at my location. Requesting medical assistance for this collision. <laughs> Unsighted, unsighted sweeping area. Calling off the pursuit. Over and out. Danger. Th danger. Eh, eh. What the hell? Fucking hell, what just happened? Ten four, suspect has been dealt with. There's our missing friend. Uncuff them and send them back to the safe house. Are you alright? I'm alright, yeah. It wasn't that bad, actually. I need to wash up, though. Fabulous. 
Splendid. As soon as they return, I'll be sure to issue them a pair of fresh underpants. Now, let's get someone over to Trafalgar Square. Agreed. Time to end this. a child for you. Good. I can see you. Let's go over the plan. The Canadians loaned me an office across the square, so I can keep an eye on you. God bless the Commonwealth. So, here's what's going to happen. There are four snipers covering the angles. Here, 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 and here. Your job is to locate Malik, and when you're sure it's him, scratch your eyebrow. That confirms the target. Then count to two and duck. Right. Move the crosshairs over and you can kill me too. I've seen what you people are capable of when you're pissed off. If you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. How does that sound? Sounds good. Fire team leader, report. No sign of Malik, Mum. Nice clear shot in this dead sick prick, though. Don't tempt me. Fuck. Where the hell is he? I don't like this one bit. I don't like it either. Shit. I don't have a filament terminal in here. I'll have to request one. Bear with me. This will take a while. Bagley, some assistance, please. Oh, if only every person in London was required to wear a piece of high-tech surveillance equipment. Start hacking optics, and I'll see if any of them caught sight of Malik. Of course. Easy peasy. Looks like your latest victim was wearing a body cam. I'll scan its hard drive and see if it got a look at Malik. That's him by the litter bin. He's either leaving a dead drop or trying to eat out on the cheap. What on earth is going on here? Fuck. Malik may be doing his laundry. It's a technique for losing a surveillance team. If so, that dead drop has a second meeting location in it. He's got our number. I don't think so. He'd vanish if he thought there was a real threat. I'll put the shooters on standby while we readjust. Not seeing any relevant video or photographs. Keep looking. Searching data exhaust. Nothing. Try someone else. GPS data indicates this person wasn't in the area during the relevant period. Try again. Just a thought. Albion guards usually wear body cameras. Sometimes they even switch them on. Pardon me, but what the fuck? Did you really think I could be outsmarted by Nigel Bloody Cass? <laughs> he recorded that meeting because I wanted him to. It got to Emma Child because I wanted it to. And now law enforcement has full profiles on all of you. If you want to live, get on the ground and put your hands on your head. Not on your worthless life. No, no, you, you misunderstand. I meant so the shrapnel doesn't hit you.
into the vehicle, over. Any other patrols have eyes on the suspect, over. I may have an issue. I'm wanted by Albion all of a sudden. And I wasn't even doing anything to deserve it. Yeah, same here. What the heck? It seems Malik wasn't bluffing. Your faces are all over the news, and not in a cool way. That dribbling shit stain. Bags, call everyone to the safe house for a chat. Critical condition. Please exit I found immediately. A potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. Danger. In breaking news, a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSA app. SIRS Counter-Terror Director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSec's London cell. This is a message for dead sick. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him. Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the dead sick organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. But what are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building and You get the idea. You're fucked. We're being hunted like pheasants. So let's return fire, yes? Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show DedSec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Actually, a few of us cooked up a scheme that could help. Bagley. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. 
If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DEADSEC threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTOS using country in the world so much as utters the word DEADSEC. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DEADSEC terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. I'm here. Break down a plan. We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So, how do we proceed? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Zerd uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. Terrific work, old boy. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. system must be acting up.
search on his motor. Go, perform a search. Get away from me. Move me on, there's nothing here. Oh, that's annoying. Drone, search the area. Nothing to report. Check it out. Shit! I'll check in with Central. In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. Well done. Now I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day? Don't be absurd. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? To be honest, I don't know. But I'm going to stop you anyway. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. Shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik did void the microwave drones. Pardon me? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Anyone have a suggestion? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Oh, shit. 
shoot you. Drones down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Any idea on what to do? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Ah yes, unplug it and plug it back in again. Got it. Close enough. something about this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hit. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Fuck off, you stupid drone. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Position. Search 
This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Fuck her off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Please stop this microwave drone. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. We have here, straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little psylops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Excellent work, Bagley. Now all that's left to do is find Malik and finish this. With pleasure. integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Go for it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh no, it worked. Die! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. from the GBB to the Avarice with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. So, why exactly can't we just drive that car into the river? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. 
I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Richard Malik, we know you bombed the embassy, and we know you were part of the mass bombings from a while ago. All we need is for you to confess. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. That doesn't account for how you knew about Zero Day when we first met. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Right, sure, whatever you say. Even if you are telling the truth, you've done plenty. You'll get a rot in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, DedSec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. 